Unit 5, Form 1, Day 5, Grouping. This is the last uh, section out of this unit. Okay, so let's get started. Number 1, 3n to the 3rd minus 12n to the 2nd plus 2n minus 8. This is different than what we've been doing because now it has four terms. Okay, so what you want to do is we're going to do something called grouping. Now, if you think of grouping in math, you, you should be thinking about parentheses. Okay, so since there's four terms, we're going to group these by doing the first two and the last two. And you got to just make sure that this sign goes in the second set of parentheses, whether it's positive or negative. Okay, and then what you do is you just look at the first two. Okay, so we're just looking right here. All right, we'd say, okay, what can go into a 3n to the 3rd and a negative 12n to the 2nd? Well, 3 can go in there. N can go in there, but if you look, you have an end of the third and an end of the second. So you can take out an end of the second because they both have at least that. So we're going to divide everything by three into the second. When we do that, you get one N minus four. Okay, the end of the seconds cancel. Then you look at the second set of the parentheses. parentheses. What goes into two N and negative eight? Remember that first thing is positive, so we're going to take out a positive two. Okay, if it was negative, we would take out a negative. And if we divide by 2, we get n minus 4. Okay, now you should see something that these two, on n minus 4 and n minus 4, those are the same thing. Okay, so our answer is still going to be written in two sets of parentheses. So you have your n minus 4, and then your other parentheses comes from what you took out. We took out 3n to the second plus 2. All right, let's try another one. Number 2, 20r to the third plus 8r to the second plus 15r plus 6. Okay, so you do your two sets of parentheses. What do 20r to the third and 8r to the second have in common? Well, you can take a 4 out. You can also take an r to the second out. So if I divide that, 20 divided by 4 is 5. r to the third divided by r to the second is r. 8 divided by 4 is 2. The r squareds cancel. Okay, now look at the second set of parentheses. 15r plus 6, what comes out of both? Only well, positive 3 does. And when you divide that, you get 5r plus 2, okay, because 15 divided by 3 is 5, 6 divided by 3 is 2, okay, and then your answer in two sets of parentheses, you have your 5r plus 2, because if you look, they did match, your other parenthesis comes from what you took out, so 4r to the second plus 3, okay, so that's grouping.